Thousands gathered over the weekend in Washington, D.C. in what was billed as a coming-out party for atheists. The Reason Rally drew a diverse crowd of individuals from across the country. Participants cited reasons both personal and political for their attendance. FSRN's Brad Kuttner has the story. Celebrating their God-free lifestyle, atheists, agnostics, and secular humanists from across the country convened on the National Mall near the Washington Monument. Organized by national atheist groups, the Reason Rally aimed to dispel stereotypes and encourage non-believers to openly discuss and advocate for a secular society. Wisconsin resident Patty Guzikowski is former president of the Atheist Alliance of America. A lot of people don't know that they have friends and relatives that are atheists, and so they continue to not understand what it's about and have misconceptions and stereotypes and discriminate. The rally had another goal as well, to campaign for legislative equality. Dan Smith and his wife Kelly came from Columbus, Ohio, to make sure lawmakers in Washington knew they were just as concerned with policy issues as people practicing a religion. The assaults on uh, women's rights and, you know, Taking a, you know, regulating birth control and 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 uh, the transvaginal ultrasounds and I mean it's it's all of this comes from a place of of the religious need to control uh, society in general, but you know in particular women, um, and it's you know we want to we wanted to do something that showed that that that's not what we support. Others also hoped the event would have a political impact in Washington. Kenneth Bronstein, president of the New York City Atheist Association. The religious right, using their numbers and using their power, we have to show that we're even larger than they are and and, and equalize and neutralize their power. Some atheist activists, including magician and author James Randi, say a lack of rational thought has permeated society. But he also says the number of non-believers are growing and called the Reason Rally a giant leap forward for atheists. This is a widespread notion. This is not just a, a group of uh, strange little uh, people who live in attics and things like that. No, uh, we are a very active force in society, and uh, the secular humanism idea is, is a very good idea, and it should be embraced and investigated and looked into. So many people have said that they came here not knowing and they're leaving well-informed. That's what we want to hear from people. A small number of theists also attended the rally. Reuben Israel came from Los Angeles with his group Bible Believers. Israel said interactions with the crowd had been fairly civil and without incident, but he wasn't convinced by their arguments. God is not going to personally come down and talk to these people. He gave them the Bible, they reject that. He gave them his son, they reject that. And so as a Christian, I'm here to set the record straight, there is a God. Atheists represent about 16% of Americans, according to a 2008 study from the Pew Research Center. Of that number, a majority is white, and that was reflected in the crowd gathered for the rally. Jamila Bay, an outspoken black atheist and journalist, says the movement could benefit from more racial, ethnic, gender, and physical diversity. We draw strength from our diversity. We're, we're, most of us are Darwinists. We understand why diversity is good. We need to look like that. There was, however, some diversity in the crowd, like Marissa Torres Langseth, chairwoman of the Philippines Atheist and Agnostic Society. She was there supporting her group, PATAS, Tagalog for Equality. She said atheists make up a very small percentage of people in her home country where the majority are Catholic. The whole world needs to know that we are out and we are here and we are growing every day. Internationally, look at us, it's Philippines. Have you noticed? I mean, this is the very first time me coming out in a rally. And this is it, recent rally. Would you believe that? Brad Kuttner, FSRN, Richmond.